What's up guys, welcome back to one of the most amazing top 10 video. This is the channel where we take all kinds of weird and wonderful things from all around the world and put them into a nice top 10 list so you don't have to. And today we're doing the top 10 worst deaths part 2. But before we get started, I want to know from you guys in the comments below, who is the oldest person you know? Whoever you guys chose, they obviously managed to avoid all the deaths that Landon talked about in his first video. But you guys were obviously fascinated by that, so we made a second part two for you, and we're going to jump right into it with our number 10, which is death by radiation. Radiation sickness is caused from extreme ionizing radiation and kills us by breaking up our DNA and either killing our cells or mutating them into cancer. It's mainly caused by receiving a large dose of radiation over a short period of time, which is called acute, or a small dose spread out over a long time, known as chronic. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, headaches and diarrhea and can be fatal depending on the dosage and how quickly it is medically treated. Now although it's a brutal way to die, it's actually quite rare and only seems to happen in big nuclear power plant accidents like Chernobyl in 1986 in which 41 people died from radiation poisoning. Moving on to our number 9 now, it's decompression better known as the bends. The bends is an illness that can affect anyone from scuba divers to pilots and it's caused by the body experiencing a sudden change atmospheric pressure. The air that divers breathe contains a mixture of oxygen and nitrogen, but when they dive, the body doesn't absorb the nitrogen. As the diver goes deeper, the pressure of the nitrogen in the body increases, and if they resurface too quickly, nitrogen bubbles can block blood flow and even tear nerves. If severe enough, the bends can lead to a painful death, with the last few hours of the victim's life being painful, tiring, and often including vomiting or deafness. The only good thing I can think of about the Benz is the Radiohead album. Other than that, it really sucks, and you guys should definitely be careful and always follow the guidelines if you ever do do scuba diving. Moving on with our morbid journey now, it's anaphylaxis at number 8. Now a lot of you guys out there have allergies to different things. I have hay fever, which means I'm allergic to certain types of pollen, but if you have an extreme allergy, it's called anaphylaxis and it can kill you. When normal allergies can cause slight itching or irritation of the eyes, nose and throat, an anaphylactic reaction will cause your throat to swell, stopping airflow and lowering your blood pressure to lethal levels. The terrifying thing is that this can be caused by anything from bee stings to medication and peanuts and there's no way of knowing what might cause it unless you get tested. I used to think my hay fever allergy was the worst thing in the world, but grass and tree pollen never killed me, so thank you hay fever. I never thought I'd say the words thank you hay fever. Anyway guys, let's move on to our number 7, which is water intoxication. In 2007, a woman died taking part in a radio station's contest called Hold Your Wee for a Wee to see how much water she could drink without going to the bathroom to win a wee console. The cause of death was water intoxication. If you think that's crazy, well it's actually the main cause of water intoxication because normally people just don't hold their pee in for obvious reasons. If you do though, then the excess amount of water in your body can cause your brain to swell. Putting pressure on the brain which leads to pain, twitching, cramping, nausea, vomiting and if serious enough, death. So guys, next time you hear someone say they're dying to go to the bathroom, uh, it's probably best to just let them go because it's much better to be dying to go than to die from not. From too much liquid to too much food now, we've got overeating at number 6. Although many of you guys have probably joked at Thanksgiving or Christmas about being so full you're going to burst, you were probably quite a way off, but it does happen and it can kill people. The human stomach can comfortably hold about 1.5 litres, but can go up to 3 litres and still perform okay. But once you start reaching 5 litres, you're asking for trouble. One woman whose stomach ruptured and imploded from overeating was found to have 12 litres of food inside her stomach. Can you guys imagine how much food that actually is? I feel a bit sick just talking about it. Alright guys, one thing that will kill you no matter how much you take of it is poison in at number 5. Although poison has been killing people for thousands of years, it's taken many different forms throughout history. There's ancient poisons like cyanide or more modern types such as polonium 210 which is often cited as the most deadly poison of all. One gram of this stuff could wipe out 10 million people. Poisons work by mimicking bodily chemicals and then shutting down vital processes. Arsenic, for example, mimics phosphate which is essential for supplying human cells with energy. But when arsenic replaces the phosphate and doesn't supply energy to your body's cells, you die. Damn nature, you scary. If you guys don't believe me then we've got lethal lightning strikes in at number 4. So far alone there have been 26 people killed in the US by lightning strikes in 2015. They are rare but when they strike, they strike hard and can be fatal. A lightning strike can reach up to 50,000 degrees and will cook anything it comes into contact with, especially humans. If they do hit you, they can stop your heart dead right there and then. Also you're much more likely to die from a brain injury than by burns because when lightning hits 
promise you up to 1 billion volts will pass through the first thing it comes into contact with, which is normally your head. What a shocking fact. Sorry, I couldn't resist the pun there, but let's move on to number three, which is being crushed to death. People can get crushed to death in all kinds of ways. For example, vending machines crush about 10 to 13 people a year in the US, but the worst cases of death by crushing is when it takes place in a crowd. The Hajj pilgrimage taken by Muslims to Mecca is notorious for crowds stampeding in small places and crushing people to death. This year was the worst in recorded history with over 700 deaths. The most famous one in England was the Hillsborough disaster where overcrowding at a football game saw 96 people killed and over 750 injured as people were crushed to death against each other. With most of the world now living in built up city areas, the fear of being crushed is almost an inevitable threat. And it's not quick and it's not pretty. But something that can be even more terrifying to experience is choking, and that's our number two. The worst thing about choking is that there's an almost infinite number of things you can choke on. Every year, about 17,000 children are treated in the hospitals for choking related incidents, and about 80% of those occur in children aged four years and younger. The majority of people who die from choking do so by choking on food, with some of the most common items being hot dogs, hard candy, chewing gum, and popcorn. If any of these block air from getting to your lungs, you'll be dead within six minutes. And I know we've all had that moment when you're eating and a little bit of food goes down the wrong hole and you can't breathe for a moment. It's pretty scary. All right, guys, we got this far and we're all still alive, so good job there. And I think it's time to announce that our number one worst death is crucifixion. Made famous by the story of Jesus Christ's execution, this nasty form of capital punishment was invented by the Persians but popularized by the Romans, and is possibly the cruelest way to die that's ever been devised. It involved the victim being nailed to a cross by their hands and feet, which meant the whole of their weight was bearing down on their fresh wounds, tearing into the flesh, causing excruciating pain. In fact, crucifixion is actually where the word excruciating came from. After being nailed to the cross, they are left there for days, in which time death was brought on by causes including heart failure, infection from the wounds, dehydration, or even being killed by animals. The most common cause though was often asphyxiation, caused by the exhaustion of having to lift your body up to even breathe. It's our number one because it doesn't just kill you, it intentionally tries to make it as long, slow, and painful as it possibly can. And if there's one thing worse than a death, it's a long, painful death. Alright guys, that's enough death for one video of this most amazing topic. Top 10. What do you think was the worst one? Do you guys know any better? Let us know in the comments below. Also, tell us what you guys want to see next, and if we like it, we'll make a video on it. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. And if you want a bit of a pick me up, there's also two videos floating over there right now, so give them a click. In the meantime, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Danny Burke. Take care.